So, I see the topic um, today or this morning is just hilarious. Well, that's the topic that kind of got my attention this morning was just hilarious. But, um, yeah, I kind of just want to know what people's beef with just hilarious is like um so apparently she was on a flight somewhere she was on a flight somewhere and i guess some um muslims got on the flight um i guess these people had turbans on or whatever So she made a a video post and I guess she zoomed in on them getting on the plane and she said like she felt uncomfortable or whatever. So then she makes a post and says that she got evacuated off the plane. Well, they got evacuated off the plane because the way people making it seem is like this was just as plane, just was flying this plane. She paid, she chartered this plane. Not the case. It looked like she was either on an American Airlines flight or a United flight. She was a regular passenger, just like everybody else. My thing is, people are saying, oh, you such a racist bitch, and you this and you that. First of all, first of all, people need to learn what the word racist means. She could be prejudiced, but she's not racist. So stop calling her a fucking racist. Stop calling her a fucking racist. She's not a fucking racist. And then people were just going in, oh, you a bitch, you this, you that, you this, you that, you this, you that. And it's black people that I'm seeing this, this, these posts coming from. And I'm just looking like, you niggas are so fucking ridiculous. You niggas get so upset and got so much energy to give the other niggas. But when it comes time for y'all to stand up for yourself and stand up for your ethnicity and stand up for your race, stand up for your values and what you believe in, y'all niggas are hush mouth. Y'all niggas are hush mouth. And that shit, I don't understand it. I don't understand how niggas are so hard on niggas when we know how it is to be a nigga. Why are niggas so hard on other niggas? I don't fucking, I don't fucking get that. It's all black people I'm seeing calling her, you a bitch, you a racist, you this, you that, you this, you that. But when y'all see crackers doing shit, fucked up shit to y'all on a daily, when y'all see Asians doing fucked up shit to y'all on a fucking daily, When y'all see any other ethnicity out here doing bullshit to y'all on a daily, y'all don't say shit. Y'all niggas don't say shit. But as soon as somebody that look like you or got the same skin tone, the same skin color you have, oh, you got all the words to say, you got all the cussing out, you got all the hands to throw, you got all of this fucking energy. Black people make me sick, dog. Y'all need to, that, that shit is sickening. That shit is sickening. And I just read another, another just to get off the just, uh, just hilarious shit. Um, I think this was with Terry Crews and D.L. Hughley. <clears throat> oh, I was talking about um, just hilarious and how black people is so fucking two-faced to other black people. But be so buddy-buddy and so friendly with every other ethnicity but they own. That's all I was talking about because I'm sick of the bullshit. Sick of the fucking bullshit. So, um, Terry Crews comments or says something to D.L. Hughley I guess he didn't like what D.L. Hughley had to say about um the way he handled or the way he reacted to that executive grabbing his dick in front of his wife so D.L. said what he said or whatever here comes Terry Crews oh I should I should smack the shit out of you or I should I should something to that effect he said whether he was going to put hands on D.L. Hughley or whatever. Now, in my mind, I'm like, hmm, Terry Crews is a big, strapping, black man. Muscles on muscles on muscles on this man. And this white little, this little white man came up to you in front of your wife and grabbed your dick. And you didn't do a fuck thing. But as soon as D.L. Hughley say something of how, you, how he feel, you should have handled that situation. You want to talk about what hands you going to put on D.L. Hughley. And that's what I'm talking about. Niggas treat other niggas like shit. 
Niggas treat other niggas like shit. Don't tell me nothing about no crackers. Don't tell me nothing about no Asians. I don't want to hear shit about no ethnicity. Black people are fucked up to other black people. Period. And I deal with this shit on a daily. In my life. Going to the store. Black people treat black people like shit. So y'all coming for all these celebrities because they making their own opinions. First of all, first and foremost... Everybody can have an opinion. Everybody can have a fucking opinion, whether you agree with it or not. Everybody can have a fucking opinion. Doesn't mean it's right. Doesn't mean it's wrong. But how dare you say fuck a bitch and fuck you and you this and you that and you this and you that because she had an opinion. And then y'all niggas, y'all niggas go off. The first thing that y'all read was, oh, she got them put off. What black woman, you know, can get somebody put off of a commercial flight? She was, a pa- she was a passenger like everybody fucking else. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all niggas need to stop downing other niggas, bro. Those your peoples. Those your fucking peoples. Every other ethnicity can look out for their peoples but us. Get the fuck out of here, man. So all that fucking bullshit, all that, all that, oh... Oh, um, I can see where you're going with this and all that getting in, getting in your feelings about an opinion. Bitches can have opinions. Okay. Let that be known. Let that be clear. I just had to say something about that. Cause it's like, I'm so sick of y'all fucking niggas, bro. I'm sick of y'all niggas. Then y'all want to talk about, talk about uh black people being together and black people being united and this that or whatever but y'all treat each other like shit black people treat black people like shit dog shit then y'all want other people to take us seriously look how they look you think no motherfuckers ain't looking at how we treat each other the fuck out of here man when it comes to business anything bro anything bro that shit that shit just got me hot bro and it ain't even a fact about no celebrity shit that's not i only use celebrity references because that's all motherfuckers seem to care about is people that's in the fucking limelight and they just seem to care about people that don't give a fuck about them don't even fucking know them so that's why i use celebrity references That shit pisses me off, dog. They ain't got the nerve to stand here talking about wanting to be united and this, that, and the third. Man, fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Only time niggas want to unite is when it's beneficial to, to them. To them. Personally. Not on no global shit. Not on no, not on no unite shit. That's some personal shit. That's the only time a nigga fuck with you is when they need something from you. But niggas ain't supporting niggas. Niggas ain't supporting niggas. All day up and down my timeline. Bitches ain't shit. Niggas ain't shit. Bitches ain't shit. Niggas ain't shit. Bitches ain't shit. Niggas ain't shit. shit. That's all I see down my timeline every day. Hoes ain't shit. Black girls talking to other black girls. Oh, bitches ain't shit. You can't trust no bitch. This, that, and the third. Y'all the bitches y'all talking about. Y'all the bitches y'all talking about. And no, don't take this as I'm getting angry. I just, I'm just a very passionate speaker. But that, that, that shit is some, some straight bullshit. Some straight bullshit. I mean, they hard down calling this girl a racist and white people do that shit to us on a daily, on a daily. Nobody don't say shit. Nobody ain't got nothing to say. And as soon as this girl give her opinion about how she felt. Oh, baby. Wonder why we can't get the fuck ahead. Wonder why we can't get the fuck ahead. We got all the tools. We got everything we fucking need to be ahead, to be on top. And black people wonder why they can't be on fucking top. 
Wonder why? Because everybody grabbing at each other fucking ankles. It can't be a it can't be a group of a successful niggas. It can only be one. Who the fuck told y'all that? Who the fuck told y'all it can only be one successful nigga at a time? I don't, I don't fucking get it, bro. I don't fucking get it, man. I don't get it, and I and I, I start to see more and more why. Like I wanna, I wanna branch out. I wanna be friends with people. I don't wanna build. I wanna do that. But damn, y'all niggas make it hard. 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 And I'm a I'm a genuine person. I'm a root for my people. I'm a root for my people till the day I fucking die. I'm gonna root for my people till the day I fucking die. But I'm also gonna tell y'all when y'all fucking up. I'm gonna say when my people fucking up and we've been fucking up. We've been fucking up. We've been fucking up. Worry about the wrong fucking shit. Worrying about people's fucking opinions and taking that shit fucking personal when it's somebody's opinion. If you don't agree with it, you can still be friends with somebody and not agree with their they, they religious beliefs or whatever the fuck. My bad, I've been ranting. I ain't even been watching it, looking at the goddamn comments. I, I, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. Like, right, that shit is... is it's sad. It's fucking sad. It's fucking sad because we are a people of so much potential and everybody see it but us. Everybody see our potential but us. Everybody make money off of our gifts but us. Why? Because we, we, we nitpicking at each other. Oh, the world can abuse us. The world can the world can enslave us. They can beat us. They can rape us. They can steal. They can do everything. Oh, but don't let don't let another nigga do that. Crucify him. Crucify him. He's dead to us. Fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here, man. Y'all want to sit here and talk about these goddamn crackers all the time. Fuck them crackers. Them crackers ain't got shit to do with you and you bigging up somebody else or you you getting on your own shit. Them crackers ain't got nothing to do with you. Crackers gonna be crackers. Let that shit go. Let that shit go. That ain't what we need to work on. We, ain't, we don't need to worry about crackers. We need to work on us. That's the problem. Us. Fuck all of that other bullshit that's going on. Work on your peoples. Work on your community. Work on your neighborhood. Work on your kids. Sitting here arguing about bullshit. And that's moving on to another subject. This is why I don't get involved in politics and shit like that. Because politics is full of a bitch's opinions, lies, and all of that bullshit. And ain't shit getting done. Ain't nobody paying attention to the problems that these motherfuckers bring up every year. Oh, the community, the school need money, the this need money, the this need money. Well, y'all been fighting in politics all year about this bullshit and ain't shit changed. Fuck politics. Fuck that. Work on your fucking community. It's enough of us to get together. We all live on the same block. Go outside, clean your fucking block up. Oh, I'm on a fucking rampage today. I don't even got no damn... This this, this ain't even in no order. This some shit I just got to get off my chest. So if I'm all over the place, I apologize. Try to keep up. Try to keep up. And I ain't been on a rant on this bitch in a while. So, if you don't like it, the fuck off my shit. Man. I'm done preaching for today. It ain't even preaching. Fuck that. It ain't even preaching. People tell me that all the time. Oh, girl, you was preaching today. You was. No, I'm not preaching. I'm not preaching. I'm just stating the fucking obvious. Stating the fucking obvious. Black people, we need to get our shit together. I love y'all. I love my people. I will always love my people. 
But when you love your people, you say what's fucked up about us too. Y'all have a good day.